Central Missouri women's basketball is on the road facing 24th ranked Missouri Southern. The Jennies enter the contest with the Lions, 9 and 6 in the MIAA, 15 and 6 overall. Two minutes into the first quarter, Lauren Frost gets into the paint, dishes to Ashley Tull for the finish, Jen's up 6 to 2. A couple of possessions later, outlet pass to Olivia Nelson to Tull underneath for the easy bucket. Jenny's leading 12 to 6. Tull finished with 16 points. Later in the first, Allie Vigil connects for three from the top of the key. UCM on top by seven. The Jennies would lead it 21 to 16 at the end of one complete. Early in the second quarter, Frost finds Vigil on the far side, drops in another triple, makes it 24-16 UCM. Vigil finished with a career high 14 points, going four of four from long range. Four minutes until the break, Brooke Littrell to Shannon Carlin fires from behind the arc, gives the Gens a 13-point advantage. Central Missouri would lead it 37 to 28 at the break. The Jennies start off strong in the third. Nelson to Vigil in the corner knocks down a triple. Moments later, Vigil with the steal gives to Literal. She lays it in on the other end. Part of an eight-point run to open the second half. Midway through the third, Literal finds Ali Clevenger all alone, drills a wide open three, makes it 52 to 35 Jennies. Central Missouri still with a double-digit lead in the fourth. Clevenger to Nelson on the left wing, drops in a three of her own. Nelson had 15 points and six assists. Later, Nelson to Littrell, turns around and hits the mid-range jumper. Littrell led the Jennies with 19 points and added 10 boards. Five minutes to go, Nelson to Frost, hands a triple, UCM up 65 to 51. The Jennies hold on and split this season series with the Lions, taking down number 24 ranked Missouri Southern by the final 78 to 65. With that, head coach Dave Slafer picks up his 800th career win. 800 is a big number. That means I've been coaching for a long time. I've had great assistants, not just good assistants, great assistants, and most of all, great, great players. Yeah, it's. it's a special thing. I mean, I've never really been a part of something like that, so celebrating him is um, such a fun thing to do, especially with these girls and all the other staff. We controlled the tempo. We didn't turn it over. Uh, defensively, we were tremendous. Uh, Allie Vigil had one heck of a game, uh, as did Ashley Toll, and both of them haven't started all year long, and uh, they got a chance to start. And, and I tell you what, Grayson Holden played great off the bench and Allie Clevenger came in and knocked down a couple of huge threes. So uh, I, I, this is a, such an interesting team. It's been such a, uh, a whirlwind because even when we're up controlling things at halftime, all of us have got a feeling in a pit of our stomach like, all right, let's 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 figure out a way to play 40 minutes this day, and we did. We knew we were the underdogs um, this game, so we had nothing to lose. We came out and played with everything we had, we got it inside early, which we didn't do the last time we played against them, so that really helped us. It feels really good, um, especially that we know that we can play like we just did, and we just gotta do that every single night from here on out now.